Hey guys, what is going on? So today I'm going to be talking about the world's thinnest case for the iPhone 13. So the iPhone 13, iPhone 13 mini, iPhone 13 Pro, and iPhone 13 Pro Max. There are so many different iPhones, dude. But basically guys, this is the world's thinnest case for all these iPhones. It's only 0.35 millimeters thin, which honestly isn't even noticeable at all. It literally doesn't even feel like I have a case on it. If you guys know me personally or have been with the channel long enough, you guys already know that I don't really like cases. I just don't like to add bulk on the case. I don't like to add heft. I don't like to make it heavier with the case. I just don't like how it feels in my hand or in my pocket. It just makes the phone bigger and just like not as comfortable and it doesn't look as good either. This thing is only six to 10 grams depending on which model you get. Honestly, is not even noticeable at all. As you guys know with the stainless steel iPhones, um, they scratch pretty easily, which kind of scared me last year because last year I got the iPhone 12 Pro in silver and that thing got scratched so freaking easily it was actually insane so in this case it'll protect my brand new iphone 13 pro stainless steel silver i got the same exact model another thing that i like about this case is that it has a matte texture so it feels exactly like the pro models on the back of the glass and i think that texture is way better than a glossy texture in my personal opinion so if you guys have a regular iphone 13 or iphone 13 mini and want that matte texture you can get pick up one of these cases and you'll have the nice smooth matte texture. Also, no fingerprints either. There are two different versions of this case. One, the 1.0 is the one that I'm carrying right now. Um, basically the only difference between the 1.0 and the 2.0 is that the 1.0 has a full camera cutout. So if you like the look of the full camera cutout, then the 1.0 is for you. If, if you like where the camera is completely covered, um, then the 2.0 is for you. For me personally, my favorite cases out of all these cases is the 2.0 in Onyx Black because it looks so, clean with the cameras like fully covered and it just it just looks so good in my personal opinion. Also, what's really important with this case is that it has a camera lip, so it protects the camera. So basically, if you put your phone down on the table um, with just the case on it, your cameras are not gonna touch the surface or the table, which is really, really, really important because if you don't have the case or if you don't have something that protects the cameras, obviously they're gonna get scratched. And also, it does have a screen lip as well, so it protects the screen if you wanna put your screen down on the table. So it protects the screen and the camera, which is, very, very important. Next is that these cases have very, very precise cutouts on each button, they're exactly cut out. And also on the bottom of the phone, each individual hole of the speaker grill is cut out. So I think that looks absolutely just super minimal and super clean in my personal opinion. It's 360 protection, so you're not gonna get any scratches or anything like that, which like I said with the stainless steel, especially with the silver stainless steel models, it scratches super easily and they're super noticeable. So if you don't want scratches, this is probably the case to get. Also guys, this case is compatible with MagSafe. As you guys can see, I have my leather wallet right here and it sticks perfectly fine. Obviously it's not as strong as if I didn't have the case on it, but it still works with MagSafe accessories. So if you are a MagSafe accessory user, like if you use the MagSafe charger or the MagSafe leather wallet, then this case will work for you. Also guys, I forgot to mention there is three different colors with this case. The one that I'm rocking right now is the Arctic white. It's like a nice uh, matte texture. So also there is a shadow gray, same exact kind of semi-transparent plastic, but it's a little bit of gray color. So if you like, you know, the darker tone colors, that might be the case for you. Also, my personal favorite is the Onyx Black colorway, just because it looks super, super clean. This is a non-transparent plastic, so you're not gonna see the Apple logo or anything like that, which in my personal opinion, I think it makes it look way more minimal and way more clean. So if you guys are interested in the world's thinnest case for your brand new iPhone 13, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Also guys, I just wanna let you guys know, be totally transparent with you guys. I said this last year, but this is my own case company, just to let you guys know. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.